All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna be transitioning our fig cuttings that we rooted this winter outside so that we can have them out here on the patio and outside full time in full sun. Now, if you did this indoors or even did this in a greenhouse where you rooted them in an environment that wasn't in full sun, you need to make sure that you slowly transition them to full sun. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be really upset because you put in all this work, a lot of time and energy and devotion went to these plants and you're gonna find that you burnt the leaves and you're gonna slow down the progression of some of these cuttings and you're not gonna be happy about it. So what I have done here is I've positioned them just right outside my sunroom and then this little area here, it gets about two to four hours of light per day. Um, and that's direct light. What, ideally what you want is somewhere around two hours of direct light every day of full sun. And you wanna do this very slowly all the way up to eight hours. So if we have two hours here in this location, we're gonna slowly move them this way towards more sun, towards four hours. We'll have them there in four hours for a couple days. And then eventually we'll move them down here, the steps, which will get even more sun, maybe six hours, and then out there onto the patio into full sun. And uh, this process will take about a week and a half in total, two weeks if you really wanna be patient, you really wanna take your time here. And you do really wanna take your time here. You do not wanna rush this. A couple things I also wanna mention here, I wanna close this door. But a couple things I want to mention is that some of these cuttings, guys, have some ridiculous amounts of growth this year. We did a fantastic job with our indoor rooting process. Um, and we've sort of taken you guys along this journey and shown you guys some results, some successes, some failures thus far in the season. And I have to say that some of these really are above and beyond what they look like in prior years. And I fully um, attribute this one to the feedings that we did. We did about two or three feedings inside. Um, and also the lights that we had this year. We doubled the amount of light fixtures that we had because it wasn't that my lights were inadequate or not working, I should say, is that the lights were not covering the entire width of these, uh, these containers here. So the lights would only really cover about two of the pots, about eight inches wide. So I doubled that to cover the entire width of these, uh, of these pots here, which is 16 inches wide. So I think it's, uh, it's been a world of difference and you can look, I mean, just look at how lush it did rain here today. So that's why these leaves look like this, but I mean, look how lush some of these are. And I've got about, Roughly here is about 72 of them that are a success with probably another 72 that are continuing rooting. They're just not up to the right level that I would like them to be at. And what I mean by this is that you can really get a decent view <clears throat> is that down in here, you'll see that the new growth at the bottom is starting to lignify. Um, and that is really telling me because that new growth is lignifying, it's telling me that the roots are also hardened up and the roots can also take a beating. So what is down below, it's really important to have a strong base for what's above because let's say we come out here, we do, we do end up burning the leaves on these trees or something ends up happening to them. Maybe it's very windy out here. That's another thing. Keep these guys out of the wind, guys. Keep them in a warm spot away from uh, too much water. We want to still have that right amount of moisture level, right, in the soil. But because the, the wood is hardened, the roots are hardened, therefore we have a really strong and sturdy plant. And I would even feel very comfortable shipping these to people at this point. Um, after, of course, we harden these up. And if you're interested in buying some of these plants, um, please don't message me individually. We will have everything available on FigBid for sale when it is available. Um, and then therefore you guys can go on that website and I'll even announce it on Facebook, the YouTube channel, Instagram, the blog. Um, so you guys will know exactly when these trees are available 
and ready to be shipped. I want to thank you guys here for watching this one. It's really important. Just be patient. And we'll see everybody soon. See you guys for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone.